Hi there, YouTube. Well, <laughs> I uh, did as, as, as I promised. I downloaded Elementary uh, Linux and I just booted from Elementary and here it is on the tablet. Everything is working. Um, I'm gonna install it because it looks really promising. So let's take a look at that. There we are, we are connected. Elementary, you can see it looks a lot like Apple. It has a dock. And in fact, it has the GNOME uh, desktop, here you can see it. And if you hit applications, you will see that there are two tabs. You cannot slide it like this yet. Maybe they will work on that in the future. but here at the bottom we can go to page 2 and in page 2 we also have the system settings and up here you can set a lot of things such as applications, desktop, language etc 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 I will not show them all so you will also have something to to look at okay it's fully touched um, I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna go back to applications and up here we're gonna go to page one and up here you see install elementary so we just hit that one it's it's very nice I'm very surprised I uh, downloaded it uh, long ago and at that time um, I didn't really fall in love with it but what I'm seeing now is and how it's reacting and that is one of the big distributions as well. I think this file was, let me check for you. Oh no, it was only 852 megabyte. And that's what I found out. Here we're gonna install a uh, download, uh, uh, download updates while installing and install third party apps. This is for MP3, etc. to play. We're gonna hit continue. It goes really nice, really stable. I think many users that uh, love Apple will also like this this look and feels of elementary. It's busy with continuing. There we are at the next step. Erase disk and install elementary. That's what we're gonna choose. There we go. It will ask us if we want to write the changes to disk. We say yes. It has my Wi-Fi, so it knows I'm in Amsterdam. Well, I'm in Groningen, not in Amsterdam, but it's all good. Up here we hit continue. And this is our little friend. Step 48, yups, let's give it a password, and log in automatically, okay, there we go. So we're gonna let this install and after the reboot uh, or when we get at the reboot, I will get back to you. Installer is a small window that uh, yeah does uh, does its little thing there. So we're just gonna let it go and get back to you. At this moment, I advise you not to do too much uh, other things. Well, in fact, not to do anything because it's reading every uh, all the information from the disk from the usb stick so you know um you don't want to interrupt oh it. look at that it's installed so let's restart they could have done something about here huh? give it a nice little something 
everybody is calling it applications. I like the boot logo. Boot logo looks good. So we can remove the stick. There we go. It's almost like, uh, yeah, like the iPad. No, this OS is kind of like iOS, mixed between iOS and Mac OS X. It has lots of uh, settings that you can configure. You can do many things, yo. And the support is great for the touch. Pretty fast with booting. Here it is. And they're using Midori, Midori browser. So let's take a look at Midori, how that works. Oops, what is this? What is this? No clue what that is. There's something here. This ball here. What, what, what the heck is this? What do I get? <laughs> oh, I get rid of this, peeps. Can you maybe put it in the garbage can? Just put it somewhere there. Oh, it follows my finger. Oh, it's it's kind of the... What the heck is it, yo? Well, but... It looks pretty good. Here you can see the windows. You have different desktops. And Midori is, oh, it's gone. You see, oh no, it's back. Damn, what is it? I have, <laughs> I have two mouses, you see that? It's kind of a little bit, um, you yeah, know, annoying. So I'm gonna, um, <laughs> I'm gonna log off because this thing is annoying me already. Let me see. Oh, it's gone. And now it's back. So let's log off, log out. Let's hope and pray that it leaves my desktop because it's late. Oh, this is also nice. Eh? See that? It looks like Android. Now it looks like Android. Kind of like, well, maybe Windows 8. Let's not click the Midori from there anymore. Let's let's take it from here. Let's see what's happening. Ah, I just needed a little a little something. Let's go to the preferences. And how do we change our start page? Because we don't want to start up with elementary, of course. Because that's an Apple attitude that we don't like. Dot Google. Dot com. We could also go for Bing. Eh? Bing is also a good. Uh, what do you call it? You see, it's kind of lit, like it's a little bit uh, looking kind of crazy. Don't worry about it. Um, of course, this thing has no home button. So probably you can configure that. Just quit it and open it again. Now it should go to Google. Still going to the blood clot. Damn. What did I do wrong? I put it in Google. Not show sure last open tab. What kind of show home page? Oh, this is also difficult for you see, it's not 
I cannot select home page. Maybe with the arrows. Yeah, I did it. With the arrows and then we quit it again. I, I, I find it stupid that the thing ha doesn't have a... Midori doesn't have a home uh, a home button. Now it brings me here. I thought my home page was Google. What kind of browser is this? Okay, screw this browser. Let's see if we can find something in the App Store. You see, that was already annoying, eh? That was already pissing me off. Um, Internet Graphics Office, page two. Apps, how do we get apps? I want Firefox. I don't want Midori, man. Oh, so software Center, yay. <clears throat> Midori. Go away. Oh my god, I cannot throw it away. Yeah, it's gone. Stupid app. Sorry guys, but you guys want to look like Safari. You're not Safari, you're Midori. Keep to the rules. You need a home button. Um, what was I looking for? Fire... Fox. The guys of Midori will hate me. Which is just the way it is, my friends. First of all, you know, browsers... I, I cannot install, oh my god, Firefox is banned from, what is this, hello, I cannot, you see that, all oh, these guys are like Microsoft, other browsers are not allowed, and we cannot maximize this, all software, um, I want Firefox. Let's see if we can go up there. Firefox. Yeah. Install. Use the source. Man. I'm using the tab now just to force it to use this force uh, source. And now I'm logging in. Yay! And I think Firefox is coming in, peeps. Firefox is, I think, coming in. I hope. Available from main source. Use this search. Yeah, what can I say? Looks good. Looks really nice. But, um, yeah, it's really nice to bring your visitors. You know, Microsoft does the same thing, or Apple, I mean. They bring the user to the Apple page to see the latest Apple Watch. But who said that the user wants to see that? The user just wants to go to, you know, to some, to some uh, search engine where they can do their thing. Hey, I can hit install now. Yay. You see, it was tricking us. It had to get the file first. But the touch is not working so good. I must go with tap again. This video is gonna take hours. I think I'm gonna quit this video, peeps. I, I think I saw enough. I, I mean, like, this is not working and it's just not ready yet maybe it's nice for a computer but for a tablet it's absolutely not ready um 
I also don't see no keyboard somewhere here should be a virtual keyboard that is really advice for your update I think um, this thing is not working too good as you could see instead of me doily please put firefox for the people or also put firefox in the package because it's not installed and you see that installing it is you know spilling a lot of my of my megabytes and my megabytes are expensive you know i'm using iphone 6 so it's 100 megabytes per minute so i'm gonna quit this video right now if you like this um, this Linux version, you can get it at uh, just Google it. Should be somewhere there. It's called uh, what was it called again? Flag as inappropriate. It's signing in. Look there. I don't know what it's doing. This is one spooky thing, man. I'm gonna kill it. Um, yeah. I forgot. Oh yeah, elementary Linux. This was elementary Linux, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's kind of late, so thank you for watching. Till my next video.